Hello guys, it is Cuteness My Tips here, and today we're going to be playing some more Undertale. Actually, I think I might know this one that a bit. There we go, that's better. Last time we defeated it, or spare, Goat Mom, and now we're in Snowden, running through Snowden. Because you have to make it through Snowden. So this is the puzzle you need to solve. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to include this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like your face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. So, the puzzle isn't hard. Did you just get close to me? Oh, well. Uh, this was a mistake. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, reset. 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 There we go. I got it. Then you can, like, enter from here. The solution varies from person to person. Try not to step off. There we go. Wow, you solved it, and you did it without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. Camera won't focus. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle, then. It might even be too easy for you. Nyehehehehe. <laughs> Alternatively, you could just flip the switch in this tree, and it would have also answered the puzzle, which is why I interacted with it, but... Good job in solving it quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. That is a mood. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. And if you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will attack you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? You can actually just press no over and over again and that will solve the puzzle, but there's no reason to do that. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Which theoretically means it could just be an impassable tile at the start, and I'd be screwed. Boom. <laughs> rip. Uh, rip. How could this happen to me? <laughs> if you love me, let me go. Oh, the amount of memes that have been made with that. Actually, from that spaghetti, that spaghetti earlier, what's it too bad for my brother? Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up next year, he'll even make something edible. That is toxic. Oh no! Crap. I pattern him too much. So, the amount of times you pat him in battle affects the dog statues that he tries to make. And I think I pet him too many times, because... If you pet him too many times, the statues break. If you don't pet him enough, he doesn't make any. I am yet to complete a playthrough. And if you pet him just enough times, he'll get perfect amount of pets. He'll do really nice looking statues. Uh, so maybe I'm only supposed to pet him six times and I accidentally pet him seven, which I was suspecting that I did. Uh, I'm gonna talk to this guy. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build that snow dog that expressed its own emotions, but as it built more, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer until it added more snow, it, until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. It's basically ba based on how long its, oh, whoops, how long its neck is. 
which is based on how much you pet it. You finally pet him five times. Yay, I did it! It wasn't even that hard. I had a little snow pop on my head. What's up? So over here is literally almost nothing. We can come back here, and I probably will, because there is a re there are two reasons this is here. One of which I can't get until the end. Say, are you following me? Eh, not really. You're teleporting, but okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. And this, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. One of these has money inside it. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30G inside. What is this? It's a snow puff. Woof. It's a snow puff. Oh, it's actually a dog. Who knew? It's almost like. It's really. Looks like a really cute dog, and then I just kind of bursts out of the ground, and you're like, what on earth is this dog? How does it stand on two legs? Also, who made this music? Because it's beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. If you actually move, the dog will attack you. Which is proof that you never wake up a dog when it's sleeping. You just don't. That would be dumb. Additionally, you could ignore it over and over again, and then it would... And then that would work as a spare method, but I don't want to do that. It's a cute dog. I will give it as many pets as I physically want. And can you can also just spare all those dogs with sticks, if you're wondering. That's a total thing you can do. That's what sticks are for. You throw them, and then dogs catch them, and... A stick will be useful in the future. Human! This is your most- this is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm, I'm about to activate it now. Uh, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems... Maybe too easy to defeat a human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. My traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Cheers, Papyrus. Phew. What are you looking at? This is another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh? I respect someone who is fair. I don't know how, what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. So that was the last puzzle. Da, 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 da. But the, we are actually gonna go back to that place. Dun, 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 dun. 
dun 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 Okay, I should stop. I have 218 gold, which is a lot of gold. So I'm gonna buy things, uh, like this cinnamon bun. And this cinnamon bun. And this bicycle. And that was probably a bad idea. Alright, well. Welcome to Snowden Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. Get it? One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. You don't actually lose 80G, but I think... They hum random music tracks from this game. I don't know what this one is. It's Determination. Hey, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for two minutes. Here's the money back. You can pay if you're going to stay overnight. I have extra HP now. <laughs> this That's the whole point of that. Anyway, the main reason I went to do that is because I want to go back. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to edit this out, and if you see me again, I will be at the door. So I am back at the cave. So basically how this works is I want to walk around here for three minutes, and I will get a random encounter. Uh, yeah, that's basically how this works. So, once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this out, because this is unnecessary waste of time. So, I'll be back when the encounter initiates. Alright, here he is. Glide. Uh, this is one of the hardest bosses in the game for this time, if you're, if you're still, like, or trying to do a pacifist route. So, if you're gonna do this fight, I recommend you get the extra HP, because this is actually a pretty hard fight. Uh, but what you wanna do is, similarly to Ice Cap, he's really, really really naive and not naive uh what's the word uh he's really arrogant and is extremely full of himself basically so what you want to do is you want to applaud him you clap really sloppily glide well, sucks your face like a vacuum cleaner i rule i get it bollocks he has attacks do six damage uh Okay, well, I've already lost my extra HP. Uh, and then you just spam nothing? You forgot? Uh, yeah, kinda. <sighs> Jesus. Hello, I'm right here. No one asked. Bollocks. Ugh, I'm so bad at this. Nothing. Yes! Finally! 120 gold, let's go, alright. That's basically that entire boss. So yeah, you applaud twice, and then you do nothing three times. And then you win. And, 120 gold, so I mean, hello? Since I spent so much on cinnamon bunnies, I pretty much made all of it up. Alright, here's Ice Cap and Jerry, because they want to fight me for some reason. So, Jerry doesn't actually do any damage. He's the only support character in this entire game. Looking. He basically makes attacks last two seconds longer. And he is a widely hated character. <laughs> like, he is pretty much known for his hate. He is so hated that even the monsters who receive his support don't like him. And the fandom has pretty much dismissed him, too. He does really disgusting things, like not cover his mouth when he sneezes.
kind of person does that. That's disgusting. Do you not realize the times we're in, Jerry? Cough, you gave me off and you sneeze and cough. Please, for the love of God, no one wants your germs. <laughs> This will quickly take you to the other side of town. I think I'm just gonna go straight there. Uh, actually, let's go to the inn again. I want the extra HP. Da, 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 da. La 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 this is my cinnamon bun, just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating a street like horns. So we started giving a monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Hmm. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish about it. That's politics. Here's all the dogs, by the way. You better sit, watch where you sit down here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons throw us a bone. We love bones. They're so cute. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leak to me and take me for a walk, please. Me. Nee. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I only wanted to talk to the dogs. Dogs are cute. And those two who talk about their current situation. Uh, those two who love to play monsters and humans. It's a, junk, a mailbox overflowing with junk mail. It's a little and in papyrus. Look inside, it's empty. locked from the inside. That's a shed. Anyway, here's fog. Uh, we're just gonna... Here. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must feel like, be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. What? F flirting? So you will finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later. Now. I was thinking about what to wear for this date. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack.
Joke's on you. I didn't. I knew that was coming. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. This fight is actually kind of hard for me. Please don't feel blue, even though I'll capture you. Cause you can do anything, all I have to do is try. I'm trying to see, I can be a god indeed. But it's just a kid you need. I hate to say goodbye. You can do anything if you want it hard enough. I'm not simple and she's tough. You know I am your way to style. And that's why I'm the greatest player of gods in or at least one that's some training. It's taken quite a while. So when it's over, we can be friends and you'll see how a god I the men to mind so far. Well you can you're supposed to be free. You think this song is done? Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. Rich, be careful, do not fall. This is the longest any human blessed with two. That's because you haven't met one yet. Sometimes the keys are a little, like, resistant, and you are gonna have to watch out for that. I'm... Wow, I didn't get hit anything. Oh, gosh! <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I didn't get hit anything. Run! Yeah, that only works the first time, Papyrus. Can't believe this is my first heal of the entire fight. That was a mistake on my part. I don't do really. Hmm. What the heck? This is a special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. May as well just eat the unicycle. He has an absolutely normal attack. It's actually pretty decently hard. Down, up, up again. Over the bones, over the bones. Jump over the dog, jump over the cool, and the dude, and the bone skeleton on the skateboard. Ah, how are you doing that? <laughs>
Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Run! No! I think we only use one healing item because the bicycle counts as one healing item. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Or betrayal kill. Don't actually do that. That, that would be evil. <laughs> and end my pacifist run. That was the best run I've ever had of a papyrus fight. Partially because of the extra HP. But also, like, I've never done that well. I think I just kind of embraced my inner sans fight because I have done that fight. And I just kind of embraced it. <laughs> Um, because his patterns are just sans patterns toned down, really, for the most part. Yoo hoo hoo I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Unline's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. My friend's quantity will remain stagnant. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, you haven't even had a first date, and I've already managed to hit the friends. <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give awful puzzles and just to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit except a person with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then, as monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll had to pass through the king's castle, the king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. You're free to come by and have a date. Nye <laughs> he actually dried my throat a bit. Oh god, Undertale. Uh, this game. Really? Dries your throat. Um. Okay. Please don't enter the mysterious shack. So that's actually their. Sh that's his shed. Um. If you quote unquote died, aka hit one HP, or you would have died, you'll be spared and you'll only be on one HP. Da -da 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 -da. Yo. Yeah. Basically, you'll die, you'll only be at 1 HP, um... And Papyrus will throw you in that shed, and then you can just escape and fight him again. If you die to him three times, he just lets you pass. Like, he gives you the option to pass. You can refuse him and do the fight normally, but he will let you pass. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time, we're gonna do the date, and then we're gonna move on to the next area. Bye.